Hello and welcome back to some more Settlers 3. Another multiplayer game, another one-on-one, -on -one. this time not with a subscriber, but uh, a player from uh, Settlers United. I think I've also seen him uh, some other place, the name is familiar, but uh, I forgot if we played together. He says we probably have. Um, but yeah, another, uh, another multiplayer game, one-on-one, -on -one, as I just said. This is on uh, Settlers United, so it's really nice that uh, you can actually set the rules. Like the rules you decide, uh, uh, don't uh, don't rush before, or don't don't attack before level level two, and that stuff can is actually enforced by the game. So that that's pretty cool. And uh, I forgot to say it's uh, it's a mirrored match on uh, the short axis, and we are very close in this one. So, that's fun, and uh, I forgot the size, I think it's uh, 512 by 512. And uh, what else is there to say about this? Uh, I think it was an interesting uh, match, we'll talk about the result in the end.
so I lost. But I think this was an uh, was an interesting match. I think if I had managed to uh, to feed my iron miners a little bit better, I think uh, I think we might have uh, stood a stood a chance on this one. I think uh, I think he was late to upscale his military production. But I guess that was the right thing because um, because I had a big military production uh, set up, but. I was not able to feed them, so I just had all of these uh, smelters and all of these weaponsmith not not really running. So uh, that was a little bit bad. And then I'm I'm also a little bit embarrassed about um, about some of the attacks he managed to do, like how he managed to he managed to destroy all our water in one attack. That was uh, that was a little bit bad that I had uh, that I had gathered all of them at the same time. I should have uh, spread it out because it was not like there was a lack of water on the map, so it's uh, it, it's on me. And uh, yeah, I think I think that was the major things. I think otherwise it went pretty well. So guess all that's left is to look at the end screen and uh, having a quick look at his uh, land once more and here we have the end screen he of course had uh, more points more settlers I did more buildings he did more food more mines more gold I did more mana he did more soldiers and we did about the same amount of battles so uh, I think that statistics is to be expected from uh, from what we could see in the game I'm still surprised we built more but I guess it's because we we scaled up the uh, the wood production and uh, was just building 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 and I think that is the way to go it's just about building the right things at the right time and not just building so thanks for watching and see you guys in another video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.